and welcome back to Let's Play Ever Oasis. All right, so we're out to find the Eye of Truth. Uh, before we go though, let's actually make sure we put the right party together. So we're gonna need someone with a crossbow and someone with a para flower. Actually, doesn't Ida cover both those? Or whatever her name is? Uh, Isa. Yeah, Isa has both skills. All right, we'll bring her along. And then I guess we'll bring along... Who else do we want to bring along? Actually, a spear user might be good. We'll bring back uh, Mira for a while. All right. Oh, before we go, though, let's make sure everything's fully equipped and make sure that we have the Veritas Sword equipped. Because if we don't, we're going to have to come all the way back here and re-equip it. All right. Let's head off. So let me see. The closest path would be right here. Yeah. We need to go through the path that was blocked off earlier. We couldn't get through before because we didn't have someone with a crossbow with us, but now we do. And someone with Paraflower. We need both skills to get through this area. Alright, so first things first. Uh, let's go over here. I see the switch over there on the upper right hand of the screen. There it is. Oh wait, you don't use a crossbow. You do. There we go. So now that gate's open, we can use that flower to finally uh, fly across. Because when we did try before, we would just hit the gate and fall down. Now we can go up here. And then I think the switch we need to hit is like... right There it is. It's hidden behind this pillar. Whoops. There is still the bell over there, though. I don't remember what the bell does. We can't hit bells with the crossbow, right? No, we have to actually hit it by hand. Okay. Let's go over there. What do you actually do, Bell? Oh, it raises the uh, platform so we can get to those cacti. Well, we might as well go grab them, I guess. Oh, oh, hi. Hi there, Mr. Flying uh, Squirrel Owl. I'm just gonna take care of you up here while my friends take care of the alligator downstairs. Well, I would if the bell wouldn't keep getting in the way of my shots. Oh, we're stunned. And we don't have green gelding. Oh, oh, no, get off me. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just leave. This guy is being extremely rude right now. As I'm point, as I'm shooting charged up uh, crossbow bolts point blank. Uh, yeah, maybe we should go down there and get the help of our allies. This isn't going so well. I was kind of hoping I could just stay up here just so... Oh, crap. Just so I could uh, take care of this guy from up there without having any danger whatsoever. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to ignore these guys. All we get up there are cacti, by the way. There's literally no other reason to lo uh, raise those platforms. Let's just go. Can I still use healing points? Yep, I can still use save points uh, while we're under attack. Let's just go for now. I could fight them, but nah. Eh, forget it. We'll fight anyways. It's not like we're in... Oops. It's not like we're really in any danger. We have a save point right next to us that we can just fully heal at. And enemies can't fully heal either. Or can't, don't heal up when you heal at a save point. There we go. Wasn't there still a Owlbat somewhere attacking us? Uh... Oh, there it is. It's stuck over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him live. Let's keep going. We need to go find the Eye of Truth. Also, we need to find... Uh, what are we finding for her again? A Reverse Feather. Okay, we have to fight a Peacockatrice. I could have sworn we fought those before. But we need a very specific Peacockatrice. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Yeah, they're all over the place, but we need to kill one specific one. How do I get up there? I have to take the long way around, don't I? Yeah, here we go. We might as well clear these guys out for the materials anyways. I did send my exploration teams out to uh, grab some more stuff. Right now, we almost have enough people to send out five exploration teams. I think we're still one short of sending out all five. Also, it doesn't help that I need to actually bring some of those people along with me. For uh, puzzles, usually. But eventually, we'll have enough people to pretty much just have... Uh, all five slots available or filled up. Also, apparently this guy can't hit me. Okay. Oh, ow. That guy can hit me, though. I think I'm stuck. Nope, I'm okay. Uh, this is the one we want to kill. 
Oh no, Mirio's confused. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, she's fine. Actually, I'm not even sure if confusion makes en or makes allies hit you. I don't think it does. I think it just makes them run all over the place. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just makes them run all, uh, all around the place just being really confused, not doing anything. To be fair, that's not too different from what they usually do. Alright, we got the feather. We'll head back and give that away later. Uh, we have time. It's only like 3 in the afternoon. Well, 4 in the afternoon. Let's go find that Eye of Truth. I also want to get up there, but I don't remember how... Oh, I see how. Uh, we're going to need to bring someone with a hammer to get up there. Okay. I'll have to remember that next time I'm here. We can't go back and grab one either, because they're all now on expedition. But, we have the Veritas Sword. And I think we just found the Eye of Truth. There we go. Well, that was easy. I kind of expected to have to go through a dungeon for that. Alright, so three lithograph. Aqua, yellow, and magenta. Alright, so yeah, we need seven sprites at the... Actually, I think we already have seven sprites. And then we need seven sprites, and then we need to find all three uh, lithographs. And yeah, we already have seven sprites. Good. Oh, that reminds me, I should harvest the fountain for stuff. Uh, sure. Oh, right, we don't actually carry the Moomite with us, do we? Alright, we'll have to run back and grab them then. Is there anything else I need to do in this area right now? We need to go grab the Moomite crystals first. And then, uh, we have the feather. And then... Oh, how far away are you right now? Gate of Gears, that's back there. I might go looking for you later, but right now let's head back. We can't do anything else here right now. If I remember, I'll come back with someone with, uh, with, someone with a hammer just to get that treasure. At least I think that's how we get up there. I'm guessing there's a pair of flower under there. And got some pretty good experience. Wow, I did not realize how far behind Mira was in terms of levels. Oh, she's level 11 now. Oh my god, that's the worst level up I've ever seen. You got nothing but 1 HP and 1 luck. Actually, no, that's not nearly... That's not close to the worst level I've ever seen. Empty level ups do exist in Fire Emblem. Not sure if they exist in this game. I don't think they do. I hope they don't. I've never seen an empty level up before in this game. Also, yeah, we have a lot of money from that festival. Uh, let's see. We're looking for the girl who wanted the reverse feather. Where is she? I don't think we have any more room to... Oh, you're completely out. Do I have any materials to restock you with? No, I'm completely out of fur balls. I probably should have sent out the shop... Or the uh, exploration teams to the first area. Just to get some basic ingredients. I mean, we can still cancel out one team and just send them out to the uh, old areas. Actually, I might just do that. I don't think any of them have left yet. Anyways, here's your reverse feather. Let's see, what do we get in return? Ooh, a black pearl. We can use that to craft stuff. Alright, so now Nama's in the Oasis. She makes veils. And we're her friend. That's better than her being our resident. Alright, so we can put a veil shop down now. Also, that's our 40th popular or 40th uh, villager. Wow, yeah, it's getting really crowded in here, actually, to be honest. So let me see. I don't have any more room in the back row, do I? I don't think I do, but let me double check. Uh, no, we're completely out of room back here. And I'm pretty sure the front road is out, too. Uh, I might replace some shops with the Veil shop, because I think it might attract some new potential residents. Oh, wait, that's right. You wanted a Veil. I forgot. Okay, never mind. We're putting down a Veil shop. Who wants to go away forever? Actually, not forever, but for a while. Actually, I know who wants to go away for a while. We don't have the materials to make any more sashes, so off you go. And then let's put down that Veil Shop. Yeah, 
And yeah, we'll just skip that. It's the same cutscene every single time. Actually, the Veil Shop looks almost exactly like the old shop. Actually, that is the exact same shop design. Same sign and everything. Alright, so we make Veils now. So now you should... Where'd she go? Uh, she probably moved down the road somewhere. There you are. Now you should be able to join the Oasis. And with that, we have 41 people. And we can make the doll shop if we wanted to. Uh, I'll probably try sticking that somewhere later. Not right now, though. Also, are we... Yep, we're ready to level up. And you have a rumor for another person. Alright, you're a kidding pass who laughed like a witch. Okay. That sounds... That sounds like someone we probably don't want in the Oasis right now, but I guess we'll go look for them. Also, yeah, since we got rid of that one shop with no supplies, our happiness went to maximum again. Which is okay with me. And yeah, ready for another level. Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. Let's see, what. let's make sure everyone's stocked as much as possible. And then let's just, like, redirect one of the exploration teams. Uh, yeah, you're still preparing. Just stop it for now. And head back to car rooms and get me some, uh, le leopard fur balls. Off you go. And then is there anything else I need to do before I head over to see... Uh, that's not... Oh, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. To see her about the level and the, uh, Lumite. We could go look for that one person who's waiting at Hidden Pass. Hmm. That's tempting. Isn't there a oh wait, we can just warp over there real quick. Yeah, you know what, screw it, let's go look for them. The plot can wait for a little while longer. Probably not too much longer though. Still, it's important not to be too hasty. Sure, we've thrown ourselves like a massive block party since the chaos threatened to eat the oasis, but that's fine. Parties keep away the chaos. Actually, parties kind of do keep away the chaos. Because, yeah, even if we are invaded by chaos, our, ma our uh, happiness isn't going to drop anywhere. Alright, so where are they? Are they? Yeah, they're actually at the pass. Okay. Let's go look for them and then head back. But, yes, the after effects of a festival pretty much counteract the effects of chaos. Like, as soon as you get rid of the chaos plants, your happiness just maxes out no matter what. At least for a little while. Alright, where are they? Or where- yeah, where are they? It said she was waiting here somewhere. Actually, it's pointing inside the- It's pointing in there, but I don't see them anywhere. Uh, I think we might have missed them at- Yeah, let's go look back inside then. Gotta be around here somewhere. Are they hiding in here? They might be hiding in here. I see a tablet, and I see someone who's trying to jump up. <laughs> yeah, they're not very good at hiding in ambush. Huh. They should be around here somewhere, but I don't see them anywhere. You know what? We'll come back for this person. We don't really need more people at the moment. Let's just go see Esna about the, uh, Lumai and the levels. I should also check on the garden later. Oh, that's right, I didn't check on the garden when I was, uh, rearranging my exploration teams. Oh well. I'll do that later. Alright, we got the Lumite. And now we need to go find the Lithographs. Uh, before we do that though, time for another level up. 41 people in the Oasis. 
Man, remember when this was just like a little spot in the middle of the desert that had like one person in it? Who was our first resident again? Oh, I can't remember who it who was first. I think I'm gonna have to go look through all my residents again and see. But it was the fruit shop, I believe. Yeah, it was the fruit shop that was the first shop in the Oasis. Alright. Well, we're now level 20. And we can plant a tree. Oh yeah, she's just mentioning that too. And we just got the title of Great Chief because we uh, reached level 20. And a couple of new sword recipes. I really should track the materials I need for those. Alright, but I think we're going to go search for the lithographs in the morning. So let me see. I think it will actually show us on the map where they are right now. Because, yeah, they did, they did mention that the Eye of Truth would pretty much tell us where they are. Yeah, there we go. One's in Keating Pass, one's in Diggum Cave, and one's the Great, Ca Great Canyon's Navel. Here, let's look at them one by one. So, yeah, we'll head back there later. We have an Aqua Gate there already, so that's easy. Actually, that might be where the person we're looking for is hiding. One in Diggum Cave, which is also not too far away. And one in the Canyon Navel, which is also not too far away. Okay. We'll look for those in the morning, though. Let me go see if I can make anything. We don't need the Veritas Sword anymore, but- Oh, hello! Ooh, that's actually a pretty good sword. What do I need for this one to upgrade? Five Ball Sands. But yeah, that's a pretty good sword. I'm making that. Kinda of surprised we could make any of the new stuff we just unlocked. Uh, let's see. We don't really need any of this stuff because we already have one that's already equipped to us. Oh, some healing items would be pretty good. Yeah, let's make a couple of uh, fallen Aries. Make like three. We don't really need the full heal ones. The large ones will do just well enough. And then recovery tonic. They're useful. Actually, let's just make these. We have the materials for them. We'll just max out on these. So yeah, that's pretty much just a regen effect. For longer battles, I like to put those on and just heal up over time. And then we don't... Uh, Cure-alls would be nice, but I don't have any evil petals. Alright, good enough. Let's head to Ban then in the morning we'll start looking for those lithographs. So the first one we should probably go to is uh, Kidung Pass, just because we already have a war point there. Plus, I already know where it is. Oh, wait. Someone just arrived. I don't remember what we did to trigger you. I think you just come after the plot point. Actually, no, I think you might come because we are now a great chief. Oh, no. He just liked veils. Okay, never mind. He came because we built the uh, veil shop. Oh, I guess someone's out of stuff. Oh well. Uh, where is he? Oh wait, one second. Oh, that's right. We can plant a new tree. Yeah, we have the money. Let's just plant it right now. Yeah, oh wow. Okay, we don't have that much money anymore. Good sworn we had more money than that. I'm gonna have to run through the roads and check all the shops for money. Oh, they're back. What'd you bring me? Anything good? Where did I send you guys off to? Oh, right, the Waku... Wakutu Canyon. Tactus Pulp? Ugh. This was a pretty... meh haul. Uh, let's send them out to the ruins and grab more, like, basic monster parts. Oh, wait, uh, gardening. That's right, I have someone working in the gardens. What'd they make? Eh, nothing too great. Oh well. Anyways, there you are. Sure you are. But yeah, we have veils. We have a quilt shop, don't we? I think we have a quilt shop. Uh, I guess we don't. Do I not have one built? I could have sworn we had quilts available at some point. 
Let me see. Fluid Oh, we don't have the money to build the quilt shop yet. I'm gonna run through the road, see if I can grab some, like, 2,000 duodems. And then I think we'll probably head out next episode, so that we can just grab all the- all three lithographs at once. Let's see, do I have, like, 2,000 spare duodems to build another quilt shop? Let's see how much money do I have there. Oof, not nearly enough. Actually, we haven't really collected from the back road for a while. We should have some good money back there. I hope. Probably not. I don't know why I'm walking, either. We could just fast travel there. Let's see, I know of a gem plant somewhere around here. It's probably full right now, considering that all the shops have money in them. I do have a gem sh- oh, hello, wait. We have some upgrade quests we need to do- oh, we have three of them. Huh, I guess when I had a gem- we have four shops that can be upgraded right now. And we don't have the money to build the shop- the, uh, quilt shop yet. Oh well. Well, we can always build some other time and get them over to the oasis. But yeah, let's see if we can do a couple of these right now. Uh, hopefully they're all material ones, because those are easy. Okay. Oh, do you want to see the dirt? Okay, fine. I guess we'll head over there. We have a war point near there, right? I think we have a war point over there. Yeah, oh, mm. Okay, fine. I was gonna say we kinda need that uh, Aqua Gate, but we can just use another war point to get right back there. It's literally right next to the settlement. Uh, Mira, you're out for now. Actually, Mira might have been a better choice to keep in the party. Oh well. Alright, let's head out. Actually, I think this will be our very first uh, fully upgraded shop. I don't think any of the other shops were fully upgraded yet. Who would have thought Snacks would have been the first one? Oh, right. Let's also grab all the stuff over here. Kind of one of the sprites are angry at me every time I do that. That seems like a very violent interaction with them. Alright, so the closest war point would be the settlement, I'm pretty sure. Actually, wait. No, oh, that's right. We need to head over here. Never mind. Yeah, we need to head over to... Wait, Tempest Way? Is that really the closest area to where we need to go for the side quest? I guess so. That seems wrong. Here, one second. Let me check the map real quick for this quest. Oh no, that's right, Wakago Canyon. Never mind, that's right. Okay, we'll head over there then. For some reason, I was thinking Kidun Pass was where we needed to go. Yeah, Tempest Way would be the closest one. Never mind. Let's go find this guy. Actually, I think it's a girl. Actually, I think all the Duruk are female. Let's go find her. And then we will learn the ways of snack. King. We're gonna build the ultimate snack because of this. And maybe recruit another person for the Oasis. Uh, let's see. What would be the fastest way up there? Actually, the fastest way up there would have been to go the exact opposite way through the area. We need to go through the other exit. Yep, don't mind us enemies. We're just gonna pass right through. Oh, I still need a treasure over here, don't I? Oh wait, that's right. We need pellet and leaf wall and all that stuff to get through here. Or we did need that stuff to get through here. And to get that treasure eventually. We'll come back for it though. Once I actually remember how to get that treasure. And yeah, through here, I think we can just go the long way around. Oh yeah, there's a, uh, what is that, bridge across that gap. That's right. Hi, gem, or gem crab, jewel crabs. I don't need a, no, I don't need to fight you. The center camera button and the lock on button are the same. 
Oh, we do need to fight you. Fine. What do we need to get rid of? Probably you guys. You level 20 enemy. Okay, maybe we might be a bit under level for this. Yeah, I think we might just be a bit under level for this. Okay, yes, we are very under level for this. We probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but... Oh, okay. I'm leaving. Yeah, I think we're all still, like, in our... What levels are we right now? Yeah, we're level 15. We are way too under level to be doing this quest. We'll have to do this some other time. That's fine. We'll probably come back here after the second or the uh, next dungeon. Also, it probably doesn't help that half the party is also kind of really under leveled. Uh, let's just head back to the Oasis and check the other quests. That didn't go nearly the way I thought it was going to go. I kind of expected just to breeze through the area and find her, but then I remembered. We're a bit ahead of the curve when it comes to our shop levels sometimes. So yeah, let's not do that. Instead, let's go check out the other ones that we can do. Actually, it might be faster just to walk, since it's literally like right here. I think the other ones aren't level 2 yet, so I think their quest should just be pretty simple. Like, just give me stuff. Alright, so who needs to level? Not over here, though. Uh, let's see. You need to level. Actually, aren't you also level 2? Oh, no, you're only level 1. Okay. Uh, sure, you need materials. Cactus leaves, I think we have plenty. Please tell me you have plenty. Oh, yep, yeah, we have 34 of them and he only needs 4. Yeah, we'll suspend the other side quest for now. We'll come back and do it later. When we're a bit stronger and can actually get through that area. Or through the enemies that area spawns for the quest. Well, that's one way to learn a tr uh, trade. Having to clean up after a screw-up. And, oh wait. I think that might have just been enough money. Here, after we expand his shop, I'm going to see if I can build that uh, shop we were looking at before. There we go. Now it's bigger. Now we can make indigo shawls. And he learned how to stun enemies, which is actually a pretty good skill, to be honest. Shame I don't really use people with spinners. But yeah, is that enough money now? Let me see, is there an empty space I can just access the menu from? Here we go. Oh, uh... Not quite. We need... Wait, what? Oh, that's why we can't build it. That's right, he's stuck in the garden. Let's go grab him from the garden real quick. Then we can build the shop, and then we can, uh... Get that guy to join the oasis, and then I think we'll call it an episode there. And then next time we'll go look for the three lithographs that we need to find. So yeah, let's get this guy out of the garden. I completely forgot I had him tending garden for a while. Alright, it's fine. You can stop now. Because I have the money to build you a shop. Uh, yeah, let's take him in the back road. I'll put away some of the other, like, smaller shops then. What do we not need? We don't really need a belt shop right now, so we'll put that away. Also, they are appearing carrying money for me. And then we'll put down the quilt shop. Alright, so now we sell quilts. There we go. So now that Lingora should join the Oasis, now that we provide him with both quilts and veils, I still do not understand some of these combinations these people ask for. I mean, it's still not as weird as belts and ice cream. Alright, so where are they? Uh, they might have moved to the... Yeah, they're probably at the main road. Let's go check the main road. Seriously, belt and ice cream.
And yeah, it looks like we're gathering plenty of money again. I'll worry about that later, though. I think we're actually out of range of the gem plant for some reason. Okay, where is this guy? Did he leave already? Please tell me he didn't leave. It hasn't even been a day yet. Oh no, they're in the back road, surprisingly. Okay. Usually they come to the front road first, but oh well. Actually, main road, I should say. It's not really a front road. There you are. Alright, so we gave you your veils, we gave you your quilt. Now join my oasis. And with that, we have 42 people. Perfect amount. But yeah, with that, I think it's time to end the episode. So, next time on Let's Play Ever Oasis, one second, there's a rumor. Mm, we probably shouldn't go out of our way to find them again, but it's a lost child. We need to go find them, but that'll have to wait. So, next time.